G'day guys and girls, we're uh, at it yet again, <laughs> much to my wife's dismay. Um, today I'm off to Kenilworth and we're going to be riding in something called the Regatta Adventure Moto Challenge. I think I'm getting that right. Maybe there's no challenge there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little pilot that um, a fellow online's created. It's a... Oh, it's not really a rally, but it's using GPS data to track everybody and we got to get to waypoints and collect as many points as a team. There's, I think, three or four teams doing this today. This is a, um, a sort of proof of concept. Bit of an overcast day, it's not too bad. Like, it's a sparrow's fart in the morning at the moment. It's like 6 a.m. I've got a, I don't know, an hour and a half drive ahead of me at least, so I won't talk for too long. But, um, yes, bike's looking a bit worse for wear. She's, um, my panty is pushing down onto the panel the other week and I've melted the, melted the whole thing. So yeah, there's a new panel there. And... Oh, I looked at that when I bought the, when I bought the hey, Scott. Hey, mate. So what are we calling today, mate? Heavy, so it's a row gaining. Adventure moto today. So we're um, we've got all our waypoints. We've made all our tracks, and in 15 minutes or less, we're going to hit the road. So is everybody ready? I guess so. All right, can we get on our bikes at like five, six minutes too? Big long today, you got it. Saturday here, the pops up everywhere. Right, yeah, the river makes it. We wait for everywhere. Anyway, everyone loves their DRZs. Okay, and they're off and racing. Well, not racing, off and collecting their points. Okay, so each team's carrying a, uh, a GPS tracker. Actually, each team's carrying two GPS trackers because we had extras. So the um, on this map, you can just see us all leaving Kenilworth. And it's actually, uh, it's really good. It records the data so you can actually review it later on and have a look at how the race went, see how close you come together. Um, it also tallies all the points up. We're a bit slow to take off at the moment, but... Um, We'll get going soon. We don't want to win because um, Chris is the organiser, so it would look good if the organiser won the first race. Okay, here we go. We are the green team, so I have the green bandana. Oh. Right, well I haven't done too much riding up around here, so I'm really excited. Um, there are sections down south that I've ridden in this forest, but where we're heading now, I haven't. And Imbles, um, yeah, famous for its trails up here, so I'm really looking forward to um, yeah, getting into it. Ah, what's that? Be cool, it just flew in my helmet. So, my teammates today I've got um, Chris at the front here on his Africa Twin, and we've got Ayman in the front, um, and he's on his Yamaha 660 Tenere. Eamon was saying he's um, 
born in Africa, but he's grown up in um, grown up in France all of his life. And now he's living in Australia with his wife and son. And his his mum's coming over soon to see their uh, grandchild for the first time, which is pretty cool. Putin Lane. I'm very envious of the people that live out around here. It's just, um, there's <laughs> so many cool tracks to ride. Ooh. Bit of a logging area, this one. Always takes a while to get your dirt legs to begin with, so next 15 20 minutes I reckon we'll all be going pretty uh, pretty slow I've just put some air in my tires actually back at the car I was quite surprised how low I let my tires get when I was in Victoria we're talking you know 10 psi He's like what that's one of my um, <clears throat> very bad habits is not looking after oh, that looks awesome is not looking after my tire pressures properly and I've paid the price too with pinch flats so you think I would have learnt by now but you know the traction you get on a flat back tire is pretty cool I just tested my back brakes out for the first time since I bled them yesterday. I had a minor concern that I might have um, got some air in the lines. I wasn't sure, sure, but it just there was a possibility of it. The surface is a bit uh, slippery with all the rain we've had. I think we're all going to go pretty easy. This is our first right point. Oh, nice! There you go. Point. Point for us. We've all agreed to take it easy today and uh, just ride together as a team and not push each other. That's one problem when you do get into the uh, when you do get into the more competitive stuff. You can get yeah, you know, some people will get too into it, which doesn't make it fun for the people that aren't so into it. I'm not a competitive person, I'm the most least competitive person there could be, I reckon. <laughs> I'm the sort of guy I like riding at the end. <sighs> uh, a bit of a backfire there, I must be running too rich or something. But explain why I'm going through so much fuel all the time. So yeah, um, Chris has got his his plan for the team uh, um, some of the other teams probably sat down and worked it all out together and whatever but I've been a bit incognito uh, in recent weeks so Chris never had a chance really to get proper contact with me leading him to it which I apologize for but um, he's taken a, taken the initiative there and um, worked out the route which will see us passing over as many waypoints as we can without zigzagging too much I guess because you know you could probably go down a track to your left or right to pick up one but it might not necessarily be the best strategy if you know in that same time you could just stay on the track and pick up three for example so 
there's a there's a definite um, logic that you need to consider when you're planning this out hey nice Yeah, so I think it's really cool when you have people like Chris that organise things like this because I'm definitely not that person that could do or would even be bothered. Although I do enjoy doing things like this, but I just guess I wait for people to <laughs> organise it. That's the beautiful thing about the human race. Everyone's geared that little bit differently, so we all do our um, we all do our different things. But sometimes the things you do are handy for other people. <laughs> in the right gear. <laughs> yeah, I'm still re waiting for a replacement part for my steering dampener for the T7. If I had had that, I reckon I might have chosen to bring it along today. So maybe not completely kosher, but um, we're both carrying the beacons and our other teammates missed the turn. So we're just gonna shoot up, shoot up and grab it before he even knows we're off the track. That was fun. <clears throat> yeah, so this is one part of the fun of this is even though we've planned a track, every now and then you spot, oh yeah, there's a uh, little path down there. We can pick up another point for, you know, a 500 meter detour. which is what we're doing now. Yeah, it just sends you out on little trails you might not normally have gone on.
tell you what, every time I see a little calf, I swear to myself, I'll stop eating beef. I've been doing pretty good actually. I, <clears throat> I don't just go and buy steaks anymore. If I go to a barbecue, I eat like chicken kebabs or something. I don't know, chicken's probably just as cute in someone else's eyes, but <laughs> anyway. There's uh, environmental concerns with eating beef too, apparently. The old cow farts. All good? Hey? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've just um, jumped off the main drag to pick up a pick up a few extra points down this track. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> this is what it's all about. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Woo! Nearly. Ah, oh, okay, one, two, three. You, you would have had it. Huh? Yeah, oh, you kind of on it now. <laughs> Three, two, one. We're going all the way back. Yeah, we're going back. <laughs> okay, when well, we're hitting off too cold. Yes. Your uh, tyres are a bit uh, baldy too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 Are yeah, you right? It's part of the adventure, the, the camaraderie. You need to have a piss, do you? Yeah, I'll hold it for you. I don't know, I got it. He's just gonna have a piss. These are hard to point these ones. Okay, green team. <laughs> Staying out of that mud, that's for sure. Stay on the rocks.
<laughs> oh yeah, they need to change his pants soon. <laughs> getting scared just watching him what surprises me is like I'm slipping everywhere and I've got like pretty good set of tires on at the moment it's just a real um, sticky cakey mixture of mud uh, uh, it's sort of like uh, yeah, what's it like it's weird not quite wet, it's not quite dry, it's clunky. <sighs> clunky, clumpy. <sighs> it's standing, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once we get a bit of speed, like the next uh, water crossing we come to, I'll do like three or four crossings. Yeah. That's probably why the other team was only nine. They're probably stuck in similar shit. Because if you know the track well enough, you can actually plan for weather conditions, I guess, and go, oh, yeah. We won't go there, we won't go there. Uh, bit of sand any day at the moment. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, someone's got crossed up here. Whew. So all this was for a one point, one pointer. Oh. No grip at all, man. Oh, it's like sliding on a soapy tile floor. my hydraulic clutch isn't working too well either it's got fucking all that mud up down there I'll have to have a piss on it to try and free it all up have a big drink build up some pressure whoosh Okay, and it didn't pick that one up. I did. Yeah, yeah did. so we've gone over it. Yeah, we've gone over it. Yeah. The next one is there. Okay. But I don't know if we can make it. Well, we can go down there. That's where we were just heading, was it? Yeah, and then it comes back out over here. Yeah. Because I, I chose to go down here to get that one, that one, and then this one. And if we have time, we jump back one kilometre and get that one and then come back again. But, you know, it's better to go on a little off route yeah, yeah, to pick up. To pick up an extra two. Yeah. Then, uh... This is what we're here for. Whew. <laughs> and the good thing is, it's gravel. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! Hey! <laughs> Fucking impressive! <laughs> oh my God! He's oh shit! Oh no! 
happens to like what's I don't want to fuck the exhaust. You don't want to fuck the exhaust, okay. So let's Do you reckon you can get up this? It's pretty good on the Yep, yep. Hold the front, then I step. Right, right, three, two, one! Ow. Got it! You wanna push? I'm impressed you got it up so far. Yeah, no, that's the killer. That is the killer. <laughs> yeah. I went holy fuck, I thought it was a turnaround moment. <sighs> Hang on, it looks like Dad isn't moving. Oh, he's probably just stuck up a man. Carbon monoxide, this side? Fuck! I'm just gonna clear up your wheels a bit. Yep. Whew. Oh, there's that big bastard. Whoa. I just hope it isn't a dead end. <laughs> yeah, that's a boy. Yeah, I think we're gonna be in a about um, us two following you afterwards. I was I'm gonna try and go around, like right around. Oh shit! It's all right, it's all right. Fuck! Right. Really? Are you used to manhandling this thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh mate, you've got you've got some big balls on ya. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, oh, you able to? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm at a point where I can't get the bike up. Just grab me by the shoulder and pull me across if you can. Ah, uh, thanks mate. Oh, you know the feeling? Okay? I don't know, here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Here he comes, yep. Now I am in dire need of a creek crossing. I really gotta clean this mud out of my bike. Hey, black stuff. We'll pick up a few easy points along here. Branch Creek, oh! Branch Creek Road's a scary bloody ride. I wonder if we're heading over there. Jeez, I wouldn't want to be these guys. I wouldn't want to be a man on um, his current tyres going up there in the wet. Yeah, so it's interesting we haven't um, come across any of the other teams yet. Everyone's sort of shot off in different directions and um, yeah. 
just to show how big the area is that we're riding in. God, how nice is it to have some traction? <laughs> I said, how nice is it to have some traction? <laughs> we're coming third out of the three teams so far, but we're not very far behind second place, so we've got a chance like first place is um, I think they're about 10 points ahead of us where I think there's only two or three points between us and second so that's kind of got us a little excited now so we've figured we're going to um, we're going to push so I'm going to need a new chain after this um, like a chainsaw cutting, cutting mud for hours, but not like it. Sandy Creek Road, oh, I'm not a fan of sand. Look at those cows. Every different colour you could think of. Some with horns, some without. <laughs> it's a menagerie of cows. That was weird. I wonder what that was. Cow sanctuary. Okie dokie. So... We're on the blacktop now, our time's run out. The timer stopped for everybody at two o'clock. And um, the last track that we tried taking through the forest turned out to be impassable. So we've had to, um, yeah, we're just sort of uh, v-lining it, I guess, back to um, Kenilworth now to catch up with everyone at the pub, have a beer talk about their experiences. Um, Chris is keen to get some feedback on how everyone felt about the day because he's trying to turn it into a, um, you know, an ongoing thing, something to do, a bit of a hobby for him that he can, you know, organise and interact with the um, Adventure Rider community. And I reckon good on him for it. The, um, the guys on their enduro bikes, <laughs> they, um, <laughs> I don't know if they scored too well on the, um, the point list because I think they probably had a hard time in the mud themselves.